checks the runner and deals. Strike called outside corner at the knees. Good breaking ball. Lockridge at second, one out. He goes back to the full windup, does Casey. Had a swing and a miss on the 2-0 pitch by Bender. Casey's ready. Collin to the plate and deals. Swung and missed by Bender. So he works, comes back down. A chance for a strikeout here, hopefully, on a 3-2 pitch for Casey. A ball, the count on him. 1-0 pitch. Strike called inside corner. A ball, a strike to kill. We had a good night last night. Three hits in the game down in Tuscaloosa. Got his average up to 269. A homer, 10 runs. Bat it in. Lines this one towards center field. That'll find some grass. And that'll drop for a base hit for Clayton Daniel. So Daniel now a five-game hitting streak. And he's reached base safely in 14 consecutive games. That bat's guess, hopefully going to warm up here and just keep right on rolling. Getting a good lead at second. 3-1 pitch. Downstairs, bounces away. Smart can't find it, and as he does, it is going toward third. Now got a piece of Smart again, I think. He the 2-1 pitch. Hit hard at short. This time, Alexander gobbles this one up and a perfect throw to first to retire him. One away. 2-0 pitch outside. No, called a strike. I thought that was off the play, but called a strike by the home plate umpire, Mr. Reynolds. Two balls, a strike to Kim. Our ladies at home next door here on Friday at the Signature Softball Field. And then on Sunday, pitch swung and missed, strike three in the dirt. White will pick it up, throw to first to complete the strikeout. So Corley's got his second strikeout among the three outs he's recorded. Two at 5.45, Saturday scheduled to go at two, and Sunday at one. That ball's shot toward right, backing up, and can't make the play in right field out there. Dennison off his glove and up against the fence. Hawthorne will stand at second. Runner at second with one out. The paid pitch. There's a strike. One and two the count right through there to Lockridge. Pate ready to go to work. Colton looking back at second a couple of times. Quickly he did. Now deals. Swung and missed. Bender overmatched on that one. Nothing in two. The cow. Hayden an open stance as he gets ready at the plate. Hits this one high to air to right. Dennison going back. Looking up. Get out of here and it's gone. Had a giddy up on that one and cleared the fence in right field. Just to the left of the 325 mark. And the home run by Hayden White cuts it to a one run game. Solo shot for Hayden. That'll be his Second home run of the season, RBI number seven, and for Hayden White, his 15th career home run and his 80th career run batted in for White. The payoff pitch, Greckles running. Line past the second baseman, just out of his reach. The 1 0 pitch popped him up out into shallow center. Who's it going to be toward left center? Coming in, Lockridge, and he drops it, can't make the play. And Clayton Daniel never stopped running around second, heads to third, slides in safely. He just hustled around to third base. Frederick at first, and here's Dennison, and they have batted around. Pitch to Dennison, a strike on the outside corner. So it's 10 to 9, a six spot for the Trojans, a two run single for Dennison, and he takes second on the throw to the plate. And still just one out. First pitch to Lockridge, right in there, and a strike call. The 0-2 pitch, line and Gaddis. That ball hit the top of the glove and he juggled it around over there but held on to it. The runners weren't going anywhere anyway, but he made the catch without a hit in the ground. Second time he's lined at third. Cole Frederick awaits his turn in the on-deck circle. The 1-1 pitch, high fly ball, right field. He's going to touch them all, I think. It is deep and out of here at a grand slam home run for Hayden White. And it's 16 to 13 now. How about that? He is four for four, two singles, two homers, and now six runs batted in for Hayden White. And he is 14 out of 25 on the year.